I don't think we made a mistake coming here. Oh no, maybe we did. Or not. Some ten people, children among them, are huddling together in fear. You see, half of them have black holes where their eyes used to be. Some keep a gloomy silence, others are wailing, several armed insurgents are carefully watching over the terrified hostages, snapping every now and then at someone who winced too sharply or is crying too loudly. Come to your senses, Erlid. Look at what you're doing to your own family. A woman of about 60, gray-haired but still firm of limb, is kneeling before a stocky man with a thick, pure white beard, stretching her arms out towards him. Take pity on us. Let us go. Stop talking and stop refusing to be saved. Our children have gained true sight while you still believe the lie. Upon seeing you, the man points his weapon at you. Other insurgents do the same. Who are you? Why are you here? No, you tell me. Who are you and what are you doing to these unfortunates? Uh, are all these people your family? What? Yeah, who... Are you... What are you trying to save them from? The Auroras! At the Aurora's behest. Aurora is the great prophet and a great warrior. His face is hidden, but his gaze pierces the veil of time and sees into the future. I always knew they were hiding the truth from us, and my hopes have been fulfilled. A prophet has come to Rakad Minoris and opened our eyes. The end of the world is coming, the final dawn, and only those who accept Aurora's truth will survive it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a big fan of the truth. I, I, I love the truth. All that good stuff. It's just this. This is somebody taking the truth and turning it culty. So I don't I don't think what a fanatical old man over here is talking to us about is actually the truth. Uh, I think it's some kind of culty version of the truth, which is something. Hold on. Hmm. Now, you, no, you tell me who are you and what are you doing to these unfortunates? I'm a senior. My former name, Erlid, is meaningless now. I am a father leading his family to deliverance from woes, to salvation. Aurora has opened my eyes to the truth, and my children will see it. Spare us. Spare your children. Pascal gives us a 90% chance for this. Okay. So, are these people your family? All of my natural and adopted children are here. I raised them as all, all as my own, and now I must protect them, help them see. So... What are you doing is no salvation. Stop taking your fear out on innocence. It will neither ease your suffering nor rid you of fear. Uh, you've been torturing your own family in order to save them. You've been blinding them so they can't see the truth. Uh, I order you to release the... Nah, all right. The six and seven aren't going to do much for us. Hmm. What you are doing is no salvation. Stop taking your fear out on the innocence. It will uh, neither ease your suffering nor rid you of fear or... You've been torturing your own family in order to save them. You've been blinding them so they can see the truth. Isn't that interesting, though? They removed the eyes of them to make them see the truth, but it's like, what? I'm gonna, we're gonna try logic. We're gonna try it. Uh, those who lack faith cannot grasp the truth and will not be saved. The old man is obstinate, but you sense that the confidence in his voice is diminished. Uh, let's see. I just want to see ahead of time. So that's a hundred percent. Woo! hundred percent there and 80% there. So probably not this one, but you believe the lies of the heresy you sold your mm, to the, uh, no, no, no. Uh, think about it. What good is the final dawn done to anyone at all? Some have died. Some have had their eyes scorched out. Some have gone insane or the Aurora, whoever that is, has exploited your, I uh, can't you see your causing nothing but suffering. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with logic. But they said the end was near. They promised salvation. I wanted nothing else. The man weapon falls from his hands to the ground and he clutches his head. There's no washing the blood from your hands, but you could at least let us go. The ones you haven't disfigured. The old man gestures to the other insurgents who lower their weapons and then he shifts his gaze to you trying to hold back tears. What happens to us now? Uh... I don't think we have the right to condemn him to death. This isn't our, like, I know as a rogue trader, we're supposed to be able to do a lot of things, but I don't, I don't think we have the right at this point. This is like a settled world kind of thing. If this wasn't a settled world and like people had landed here and done this and he was part of like the landing party and there was no law or blah, 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 then maybe, maybe, but we're going to let them all go. He's got enough blood on his hands to live with. And honestly, 
You could make the case that letting him live and deal with this is a worse punishment than killing him. The hostages begin to leave. Soon the group disappears behind one of the bends. The old man looks away from them and walks in the opposite direction. His shoulders shake with, shake with sobs every now and then. We're in one piece. I hope I'm not making a mistake. All right. We get to level again. Again. See that test? Height of excellence. Uh, exposed weakness also decreases. That. Yeah, let's do that. Um, also, you've got like n no Medicaid, and I feel like you should, but at the same time, uh, lore Imperium. Your Imperium lore is so low. Girl, it is so low. Also, your warp lore is low. We haven't needed it though. Imperium lore. Hmm. Mm. I'm trying to think what I want. Xeno, no. Imperium, Medicaid, awareness. Our awareness is okay. It's not great, though. Our logic and tech use right now is actually doing well. So, I'm debating on... Well, who else has got awareness? I mean, there's no, there's no topping Argenta. Well, I mean, honestly, at that point, I would, I would be equal to Argenta-ish. Or I could do Medicaid, which Pascal and Adira are the only two that really should be doing it. And then, all right, you know what? We're just going to do that. Let's see. What do we got here? Um... Honestly, I'm depending on you for my, uh, for the athleticism. So. Uh, fighter, fighter's next melee against that enemy deals an additional. Yeah, let's try that. Do that. And pattern recognition, fresh target, inflict wounds, passive learning. In their first turn in combat, the adept randomly distributes the same amount of clues as using enemy studies among enemies. In Ooh. So, okay. Yeah, I kind of want that. Uh, and then let's, let's up your tech use. Now, this one? What's, what do we got? Uh, oh, she got combat medic. Healing an ally with a med kit in combat restores additional wounds equal to, oh, interesting. Let's make you a combat medic. That actually... Would probably be a good idea. You get injured a lot. I get you injured a lot. So let's just, you know, steal result. Uh, okay. Uh, ally that becomes a target of any leader's actions. Oh, actually, no, let's do that. Uh, can't do that. And this. Uh, assisted study. Oh, wait, what is instant expose? Let's try that. And then apparently I've got... So what does it mean? It says maximum rank reached one. Does that mean like based off of his leveling and everything, he just can't put any more points into these kind of things? So like we just got to wait till he levels more. That's kind of what I'm assuming that means. Um, Your awareness is good. Let's just give you another into that. Okay. Let's quick save and let's keep moving. So what is that noise? I noticed something. Okay, thank you all for noticing something. Where did it go? There it is. Done? I better myself through my service. Oh, okay, that's the future, y'all. Right there in that poster. You saw it here first. The future. Did I do it? Ah, oh, we made it. We made it! Yay! I hope. I hope everybody's here. All right. Talk to the governor. Um, thank you. It's nice to be here. Hope you all have had a pleasant 
day. Ow. All very, all very fancy. I don't recognize anybody. But we'll see. The tall, dark-skinned man turns towards you and greets you in a curt military manner. Uh, Fasal Rakadi Ab Mende Af Coronis, governor of this star system, welcome to my temporary headquarters. The man's gaze rests on Abelard, his eyes narrows a little, Wasarian. Abelard nods dryly. Governor Medne, my greetings. I am not seeing I'm not seeing the convoy I sent to meet you. What happened? Have they failed to find and escort you? If that is so, I promise you their punishment will be swift and severe. <sighs> um the convoy was ambushed. The only surviving soldier turned out to be a traitor and was permanently executed by me. That is an outrage. I'll immediately give the orders to change the procedure for personnel background checks. The slightest suspicion will be grounds for arrest. And your ladyship, or your ladyship, before we proceed to discussing the subjects that are in interest to you, there's a question I feel compelled to ask. It was only recently that Lady Theodora was head of House von Valencius. I have received no word of her death. How is it that you are now rogue trader? Um, I should be the one asking this question. Our ship was attacked by heretics. They killed Lady Theodora. Our ship was attacked, was killed, and I claim my inheritance. That's all you need to know. Mm. My esteemed... I feel like now we kind of got to stand on pomp and circus with this guy for a minute. My esteemed predecessor has died at the hands of pirates. May the emperor incinerate their souls. He frowns a bit, and a deep shadow falls over his face. Rogue trader Von Valencia is slain. Unthinkable. Accept my deepest and most sincere condolences, your ladyship. Tell me how I could be of use to you. Now, I like to know this. All right, so we got 70% on that one. I realize you yourselves are in a difficult situation. My crew has sustained heavy losses. I must replenish. My crew has taken heavy losses. I would like to replenish it. I need crew members to replace those killed in the attack on my ship, and I need material reimbursement. I we're good on that one. Yeah, we're going to go with the first one. I can offer you several thousand heads of fine, obedient servants. However, I'm sad to say I won't be able to do it until we've dealt with the insurgency on the planet. I'm sure you won't have to wait long. The rabble will soon be duly punished for their heretic scheming. Uh, my own impression has been the exact opposite. Is there anything else I could do or the system while I wait? Uh, I'd like to note the courage of one of your officers. He and his soldiers have put a valiant defense on the Celestial Harbor. Uh, an interrogator of the Most Holy Inquisition is operating in our sis in your system. Do you know where he is? I do, Mr. Van... Oh, you do wait, you do? He left for the hallowed electrodynamic Cenobium as an ancient monastery of the Adeptus Mechanicus. I don't know what his goals are. Obviously, insurgents' movements have been observed in the monastery vicinity, but I suppose that's too petty of a problem for an agent of the Most Holy Inquisition. Besides, I've already sent small reinforcements to the region. Okay. Okay. The weapon the insurgents used to shoot down the shuttles over the city has been destroyed. Now, nothing is preventing you from returning to your ship. If you wish to find him, you should go to the... Uh, okay. Uh, Pascal hints an of anxiety creep into the voice from Pascal's Vox. On behalf of the priesthood of Mars, I, Magos hey Newman, am officially initiating my participation in the excursion. I must inspect the state of the relic and assure myself that it is under zero risk of falling to heretical hands. According to the Cachism of Operation and Maintenance, my tech brethren were supposed to lock the monastery gates from the lay people and activate the traps. I deem it optimal that an ordained Magos should be involved in it affecting these countermeasures. Are you... Hey, no, men? Mm, glad you're alive. The governor raises his eyebrows and stares at the tech priest in surprise, but refrains from further comment. Uh, shall the monastery maybe if insurgents have gathered there? Pascal, why is it so... What? No. Um. What perplexed you about my companion's name? The governor looks at Pascal with curiosity. According to the reports that we have, Logus Abel... Hanum set off for the hallowed electrodynamic Cenobium a short while before it was stormed. I'm glad to find that you're safe. Perhaps you've inform information on Mr. Van Calix. Vox rasps confusedly. My name is Pascal Hanum, not Abel, and I know nothing about that man. Do you know about this Abel, Governor? I never met him in person. That esteemed Logis supervised the work of Rakad Minoris. Lex me uh, mechanics for many years. However, he rarely left his data chapel, and I never had the honor of making his acquaintance a true hermit. 
Why did he fly to the monastery? When the Lodges of Adeptus uh, Mechanicus wants to go somewhere, we don't ask why, your ladyship. Where can I get more information then? I would have suggested that you inspected the esteemed Lodge's sanctum, but it's been destroyed by rebels. We've removed several surviving data crypts from it and connected them to the cogitators at the command post. Those might give you some information. It's amazing that the mechanical voice from the Vox can sound so confused. That name might have been used as a signal intelligible only to its intended recipient. In that case, the name's bearer might be Archmagos Marnat, initiating investigation and data collection procedure. Adira tenses up and listens and turns around sharply to face him. I can hear your, my friend's snide whispers through the door. Be careful on your search, Magos. If you stare into a shattered mirror for too long, you might see yourself in it. And every shard at once, mending it is that much more of a nasty affair than the new reflection's death-like. Okay. Thanks, Adira. Um, also, I'd like to note of one of your courageous officers. Did a great job. Fantastic. And the sergeant who managed to impress a person of such noble standing will be recommended for decoration. Good. Uh, are you really? All right. So, Mike, no, I don't, like, we don't need to bring him into the family business. Mike, we'll find him. We'll find him. We don't need this man to be brought into family stuff. No, no, no. Is there anything else? No. Are you really so confident that you'll crush the insurrection so soon? Is that so? I'd like to hear your reason for saying that. The insurgency is headed by a certain Aurora, a prophet who, according to his or her followers, possesses mystical powers and certain final dawn impending into the world. Yeah, they, they follow Aurora. The rabble's usual superstitions. I'm sure this Aurora is a flim-flammer muttering some doggerel which their be benighted followers think are magic spells. This does, of course, warrant his or her eventual burning in the furnace of penance, but it doesn't point to where anything specific about this insurgency. And they also got the final dawn. How about that? Another superstition. <sighs> Sir, it's not the fact that you should believe in it. It's the fact that your people believe in it. A lot. And, you know, maybe you should take that under advisement, considering that when people believe in stuff like this, like this, 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 because they've been pushed to the brink because your laws suck or something like that, it makes them do things, you know, like cause an insurrection. I can see that nothing will convince you. Let's change the subject. By all means. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't want to do... Yeah, is there anything else I can do? If you'd like distraction, a smaller and safer uprising leisurely to uprise... A safer uprising to leisurely put down. There's a planetoid in the system. It hosts a colony prison whose inmates rebelled at the same time as the heretics on the planet. And you don't think that that's suspicious? You don't think that that's suspicious at all? It would only take us a couple of shots from orbit to take care of them, but... A vain winter scale went there. A relative of my Suzer... Suzerain? The great rogue trader Caligos Winterscale, the master of the system, and a dozen others. I imagine young Master Winterscale is very eager to prove himself to his distinguished kinsmen. I see no reason for you not to join him. It's a small planetoid, the prison numbers are few and they have little in the way of weapons it's more for sport for noble lords and ladies than a rebellion a vein a vein abelard mutters stroking his beard one of his distant younger offspring yes that's as much as i know about him which means he hasn't distinguished himself in any meaningful way <sighs> so this man was no help at all absolutely no help at all so the monastery is situated in an uh, territories gifted to the priesthood of Mars due to the scale of the planet. Dropping from orbit is considered the optimal way. Okay, so we've got to get back to our ship. Uh, how do I do that? I assume back the way I came, right? This man was no help. He's going to give us people. But first, we got to wait for his little rebellion to... Oh, to the void ship. I love this. Thanks. Thanks, Owl Cat. That was top tier. Like, I could have told them all this. This man is stubborn. He doesn't realize he's not going to win this. That's <sighs> fine. So if I click back... Where are you going? My ship left and came back. Okay, cool. So now we've got a bunker. A bunker. And the Cenobium. Okay. Quick question. I guess I had a Pascal. Is he going to, like, join my crew permanently now? Are we going to be friends forever? I hope so. Um, yeah, 
yeah, he's right over here. Um, is that him? Yes. Pascal, shrouded in his crimson robe, greets you with a soft voice synthesized by the Vox system. Omnisaya knows all, comprehends all, Tessera. The mechadendrites growing from the tech priest's back swivel in your direction as if examining you with curiosity. Hmm. I have some questions about your visit. The request is approved, but I'm and I am ready to provide the necessary information. The people who wanted to kill you at the port weren't renegades. It was just a cover. Thank you, information acknowledged. I will analyze it and take additional security measures. What do you think of this Abel? I propose that it was the blessed M Amarnat who assumed this name. This name is assigned to me. His presence in the hands of the heretics is categorically unacceptable. The canon of technology security commands that every effort be made to rescue such a high-ranking bearer. What brought you there? I came at the heat of the call of my mentor. We were supposed to meet on Rakad Minoris and discuss my mission. Okay. May your labris be effective and fruitful. What a nice pat. Like, Pascal is nice until you piss him off, I'm guessing. I have a feeling all of your companions are actually quite nice until you piss them off. And depending on what kind of rogue trader you are will depend probably on the level of pissing off that you do. I think this is the only weird thing so far about this system is that we're here, but we still have to like go and come back. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Yes, we'll all go together as one big happy family. It'll be great. So much fun. Hope everybody's excited. Mm hmm. I wonder when we get to meet this person and these two. Unless we're about to meet one of them now. Okay, monastery has been breached. We'll cover the landing area, your ladyship. Glory to the Von Valencia's dynasty. Yes. Duty prevails. Judging by dead people's equipment, they were guards and the governor's. Okay. Okay, great. None. So, you know, didn't the Shut governor say that this was way. fine? He was sure nothing had happened. People could stop proving Tess right. That would be great. All this music coming in. The binary hymn awakens the gate's latching mechanism. Thanks, Pascal. Well, time. Oh, okay. The heretics were killed swiftly and ruthlessly. They never had time to... Okay, so these are the heretics are dead. Uh, where is everybody, though? You know that the wire junctions are often marked with symbols of keys that appear to connect two lines. And this mercifully quick electric shock that wasn't what killed this cultist. Uh, what about this one? There are no wounds on the heretic's body. His face is contorted with... Oh, good. Contorted with terror. I was hoping that that, that would be the way his body... Uh, electro priest damage the motive on purpose turning them into traps okay okay hold on i don't want to i don't want anything to happen to us i just want the goods okay so anything i guess we're gonna have to like run 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 who are these okay test there um, let's put Argenta here, Abelard here, and Pascal, I'll put you over. Like, this, this is awful, because you don't want to keep them in, uh, in the lightning. Okay, Adira first, good. Uh, can you just do that? Thank you. Okay, two of them. Okay, one died, one almost died. Also, let's do this. Was that you? Or... No, I mean, it wasn't me, me. Where's he going? It looks like this might be a sniper battle in the end. Uh, Pascal, let's have you do this. Thank you. Okay. How is your, how are you at shooting today? Any better than the last time? No. Okay. Good. Just checking. 
Tess. Nothing I can't do. Tess, there is nothing that you can't handle, sweetie. So I need you to take this guy out. Thanks, Tess. She's so good at that. Okay. All right. Uh, Abelard, I'm going to put you here. Yeah. Here. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Uh, tried and tried and true. Absolutely 100%. Just murder him. An exemplary strike. Okay. I mean, you didn't kill him, so I don't know if I go as far as exemplary, but it was very, very, very close to it. Very close. Argenta. Sweetie. I need, I need you. See, I can't. Is that still technically in the lightning zone? Yeah, kind of. You hit him. You've got. No, okay. I'm going to leave you there for now. Can you do that? You're not? Really? No, you're the only one I have that can literally do this, so. I'd say it's a job for you. Yes! Yes! Tess! You make my heart so happy when you hit them like that. You missed! Stupid cultists. Okay. Now, Adira. Let's do... This? Okay, he's dead dead now. Good. Okay, thanks. Let's do this. Can you hit him, Tess? I can't, like... Not a problem. He thinks... Oh my good, you could! Wait, there's somebody all the way down there? You joking! Hit him. Thank you. All right, Argenta. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Okay. Yeah, bathe the battlefield, girl. You you do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna move Cassia over here. Okay. Great. Good. Um, Adira, I don't think I think he way too far away for you. So let's um let her tell the future. And I am gonna move you here. Now, Pascal, I feel like we're just going to keep moving people up, even though there's really no reason to. Tessa going to get hit. If that lightning comes back next round, we're, we're toast. Everybody is toast. Except Abelard, which is fine. This yeah, this is nothing. There's literally one dude that's just a little far away from us. And that, that that's all we're dealing with. Can you hit him from here? No, he's still he's still covered. Okay. Um, girl, this will get you out of that zone. So I think it's only Pascal and Tess right now that are in the danger zone of the lightning. Actually, Tess is kind of blocked from it. Okay. Sure. Why not? And will this hit him? No. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just leave Pascal where he is. Tess. My okay. You did get hit by lightning. Can you hit him? Can you hit his cover? No. Okay. Abelard. Follow my lead. This is literally because this dude is just so far away. That's literally all this is. This dude is just so far away. That like... We, we gotta, like, keep just moving. I probably should have put her behind cover. That's fine. You can stay there. Let this guy do whatever he's gonna do. He's gonna hit Tess. Tess dodged because she's amazing. Yay. Oh, is Pascal... Oh, he got hit. That's fine. <laughs> Pascal, that's fine. Okay, you're still gonna stay there because it's still safe. Tess. <sighs> what if I put you here? That might put you in his sight lines. Still, I hate him. Absolutely not. 
I hate this person. I do. Oh, thank goodness. Let's just let Abelard come in. <gasps> no, I think I accidentally... I thought the space bar would make him go fast, and it didn't. It just ended his turn. And I've done that more than once, and it's just a habit. Oops, the doodle. Wait, is that Argenta that's down? With a broken leg? Argenta. I'm gonna go here. Can you hit him? Okay, she can hit him now. I think. No, so now do this. Right, Tess, Tess, honey. Hit him. Sorry, but everybody lived. I got the tutorial for over penetration again. That's fine. Okay, everybody. Everybody away from the lightning. Heretic who came too close to infused. Okay, we're killed. A multifunctionality, yes. So where are we? 